po, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Um, gusto ko lang pong i-share yung aking ginawang digital module or e-book gamit ang Kotobi Author. So, paalala po, ito po ay sample lang at hindi pa po siya pwedeng gamitin dahil hindi pa po siya na-approve. Gusto ko lang pong i-apply yung tinuro sa paggawa ng digital module or e-book gamit ang Kotobi Author. Pero kapag ito po ay dinownload ng bata gamit ang Kotobi Reader sa kanyang gadget, pwede po niyang ma-access yung lesson kahit siya ay naka-offline. Okay, so, ang ginawan ko po ay yung unang lesson sa MELK sa grade 6 since yun po ang aking hawak. Ito po yung aking cover page, then ito yung description ng e-book. So, kapag um, pinuksan siya ng bata, ito po yung lalabas sa kanya. Table of contents, then next. Hello, how are you? Are you ready for our lesson today? Great! Let's go and enjoy learning! Yan. So, para po sa aking introduction, ginamit ko yung aking Bitmoji. So, yung gumagalaw po na Bitmoji at saka Talking Bitmoji ay uh, ginawan ko rin po kung paano siya gawin. So, you can check on, on these videos in this channel. Okay, then... Scroll down lang po yung bata. Nandito yung what I need to know. Ito po yung objective ng ating lesson. So, sinundan ko rin po yung binigay nila sa atin na flow ng, ng printed module. Yun din po yung nilagay ko dito sa digital module. So, babasahin lang po ng bata. In this lesson, you will identify real or make-believe and fact or non-fact images. Then, I included also the code of the competency. Then, dito naman, what I know. Can you do the following activities in real life? Make a big smile if your answer is yes and pout if your answer is no. So kung mapapansin po ninyo, yung smile and pout ay iba po yung kulay nila. At kapag tinapat ng bata yung cursor niya dyan, nagiging kamay. So ibig sabihin po, may pop out siya. So it can be a text or image. So ikiklik lang po niya. Yan, smile, then pout. So ito po yung... Um, Ya analyze niya. So, play. Siyempre, ngingiti siya since kaya niya mang, kaya niyang gawin yan in real life. We have fly, become invisible, live underwater, and write. Okay, so, itong what I know po is just a review. Next, what's in? You are doing great. Now, recall your favorite movie. What is your favorite scene in the movie and why do you like it a lot? Draw the scene on your notebook or band paper and write your answer below the scene in a paragraph form. Yan. So, kung mapapansin po ninyo, ang ginawa ko po sa instruction ay parang uh, nakikipag-usap si teacher sa bata. Conversational siya para maramdaman ng student yung presence ni teacher. And hindi ko rin po ni-record lahat ng, ng instructions para na-enhance po lahat ng skill na kailangan niya since English is uh, a combination of uh, you know, language and reading. So, na-enhance yung kanyang reading skill, listening skill, speaking skill, and writing skill. Yan. So, kapag nakapag-drawing na siya, at nasagutan niya kung bakit yun ang gusto-gusto niyang scene sa favorite movie niya, andito yung aking bitmoji and nakalagay dito, click here. So, i-click niya lang po. You are doing great. I would like to see your work. Feel free to share it in our group chat room. Yeah, and so picture na yung gawain niya, then pwede niyang ishare kay teacher or sa group chat. Then what's new? Ito na yung um uh, papasok na tayo sa lesson natin. Nakalagay dito, look, you are going to solve a puzzle. Kindly click the picture, solve the picture puzzle, and answer the questions below. Enjoy. So sabi, click. Click the picture. So, click nyo lang yan. Then, lalabas na po yung ating puzzle. So, sasagutan niya to. Ito pong puzzle na to ay ginawa ko sa book widget. Yan. So, kapag gumawa ko po ng puzzle doon, pwede mong, pwede mong isave sa computer mo. Then, i-upload mo lang siya dito. At kapag in-upload mo, ma-access na siya ng bata kahit naka-offline siya. So, let's try to solve the puzzle. Okay. Ayan. So, mag -e enjoy yung mga bata kahit pa paano kasi may pa-hands-on activity at may pa-games tayo para sa kanila. Okay, ano bang next? 
Oh, di ba? Kahit ako nahihirapan. Yan. Okay, then. Maliktad. Yan. Great job. So, yan po yung kanyang picture. Then, kapag nasagot niya, x lang po niya. Then, at pupunta na siya sa question. What can you see in the picture puzzle? Babasahin niya yan. Then, uh, pwede niya pong speak out yung kanyang sagot or pwede niyang isulat sa kanyang notebook. Then, kapag nasulat niya, click niya po yung um, bitmoji ni teacher. So, kung itatapat niya po ulit dyan yung cursor niya, magiging kamay. So, ibig sabihin po, merong Nice Malaban. answer. Or you can say, I can see rocks and a man. Please repeat after me. I can see rocks and a man. Yan, after nice. Me. Great. Let us move on to the next question. Yan, next question. What do you think is the job of the man in the picture? Then I click na rin po ulit ito kapag uh, nakasagot na siya. Good guess. Let's see if you are right as you read the story. So, hindi sinabi ni teacher kung uh, ano yung sagot. So, kailangan muna niya basahin yung story para malaman niya kung tama yung sagot niya. Then, nakalagay dito sa next uh, instruction, Before you read the story, identify first the correct pronunciation and meaning of the difficult words. Click the box below, ito, listen and repeat after me. Then, solve the word puzzle using the words in the box. Take your time and have fun. So, click the box now. Dissatisfied, dissatisfied, merchant, merchant, possession, possession, envious, envious, mirror, mirror, sedan chair, sedan chair, scorch, scorch, chisel, chisel. Great job. Now, solve the puzzle using these words. Have fun! So, kapag familiar na siya sa mga words, difficult words sa story, punta na siya sa word puzzle. So, click niya lang po ulit. Then, lalabas na yung ating crossword puzzle. So, ito po yung mga meaning ng mga words na um, nabanggit kanina. So, click niya lang. Then, magka-highlight po yung uh, meaning ng word na ilalagay niya dito. So, nakalagay dito, not pleased or satisfied. So, since familiar na siya, Masasagutan naman niya siguro, dissatisfied. Next, yung two naman. An enclosed chair. Malabas to. An enclosed chair for one person with windows carried on poles by two men. So, ito po ay sedan chair. Type niya lang po yung kanyang sagot. So, ganyan po yung gagawin niya hanggang matapos niya. So, hindi siya mahihirapan kasi... Kapag nag-click niya, kapag click niya yung um, box na gusto niyang sagutan, nag-highlight yung meaning. So, tulad nito, showing great desire for what others have. Envious. Yan. So, X na lang po pag okay na. Then, reading time. So, babasahin niya po yung story, The Stone Cutter, A Japanese Fox Tale. Ayan. Or, kung siya naman po ay nahihirapan, or medyo slow reader yung bata, pwede po niyang i-click itong image. And papakita the Stone yung Catcher, a Japanese folktale. There was once a stone catcher who was dissatisfied with himself and with his position in life. One day, he passed a wealthy merchant's house, and through the open gateway, so many fine possessions and important visitors. How powerful that merchant must be! thought the stone catcher. He became very envious and wished that he would no longer have to live the life of a mere stone catcher. To his great surprise, he suddenly became the merchant, enjoying more riches and power than he had ever dreamed of, envied and detested by those less wealthy than himself. But soon a high official passed by, carried a sedan chair accompanied by a Ayan, so tatapusin lang po niyang pakinggan yan or um, babasahin niya kung gusto niya. Then kapag uh, 
nakalimutan niya yung meaning ng mga difficult words, hindi, na, hindi niya po kailangang bumalik sa word puzzle. I-click lang po niya since naka-highlight po ulit sila or iba yung kulay nila. Big sabihin may pop out po. Then lalabas po yung graphical representation ng word na yon. So tulad nito, dissatisfied. Envious. Sedan chair. Scorch. Ayan, walang lumabas. Hindi ko ata nalagyan. Okay, then after po niyang basahin yan, and dito po yung comprehension checkup. Nakalagay dito, did you like the story? I'm sure you do. Now, answer the following questions about the selection. So, babasahin po niya yung tanong, what is the selection mainly about? So, pwede niya po ulit um, bigasin or sabihin yung kanyang sagot or pwede niyang isulat sa papel. And para i-validate yung kanyang sagot, and dito po yung icon ni teacher, pwede niyang i-click. The story is all about a stone cutter who wanted to change his position in life. Ayan. Then, number two, why did the stone cutter wish to be different? So, he or she will speak out his or her answer and to validate it, click nyo lang po. The stone cutter wished to be different because he is dissatisfied in his position in life. Okay, so kahit wala po yung si teacher physically para i-guide siya, nandiyan naman po yung kanyang uh, mga bitmojis. And so, gagawin niya po yan hanggang sa huling tanong, then pupunta na po siya sa next page. Then, dito sa what is it, ito na po yung discussion ng ating lesson. So, nakalagay dito, now, give one event from the story that can happen in real life. So, bigasin po niya yung kanyang sagot. Ano yung pangyayari sa kwento na nangyayari or pwedeng mangyari sa totoong buhay? Great! Here are some other possible answers. So, nagbigay ako ng mga possible answers na pwedeng isa rin sa mga sagot niya ay nandito. Then, this time, give one event that can't happen in real life. Very well said. Here are some other answers. O, nagbigay ulit ako ng mga examples na hindi pwedeng mangyari in real life. Then, ito na po yung pinaka-discussion. Remember, fact or real images could happen in real life. They exist and we can see, hear, feel, taste, or touch them. Here are some examples. So, ito po yung mga images. Since ang ating objective ay uh, under viewing, nakalagay doon to identify the image if it is real or make-believe. So, ito po yung mga real. COVID-19 outbreak, death march, Man Landed on the Moon, Pinagbenga Festival, and sa Revolution. So, uh, as much as possible, yung mga pictures na ginamit ko ay mga nangyari dito sa ating bansa para mas nakaka-relate yung uh, mga students natin. Then, on the other hand, non-fact or make-believe images could not happen in real life. They aren't real because they don't actually exist. They are just a product of man's imagination. Here are some examples. So, mga alamat naman ang aking binigay. Mariang Makiling, Dwarf on the Mount, so yung Nuno sa Punso, Iron Man, Monkey Talking to Turtle, and Mermaids. So, kapag naintindihan po niyo yung pinaka-lesson natin, magbibigay na po tayo ng guided practice dito sa What's More. So, now that you've learned the difference between real or fact and make-believe or non-fact images, answer the activity below. Sabi sa instruction, click true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. So, titingnan niya po yung image and yung statement. The image is make-believe or non-fact. So, true or false. Siyempre, wala pang lumulutang na island. So, it is true. It is, it is a make-believe image. Then next, the image is real or fact. Nangyayari kaya ito sa totoong buhay? Of course. So, it's true. The image is real or fact? So, syempre, hindi siya nangyayari. It's false. Next, the image is make-believe or non-fact. Lumilipad na bahay. So, siguro, sa panahon natin ngayon, this is a make-believe image. So, it is true. Baka after 20 years, magiging fact yan. The image is make-believe or non-fact. Yan, so, naguhugas siya. So, it's false kasi ito ay real image. So, submit answers. Then, nakalagay dito, you get 5 questions out of 5 correctly. So, malalaman niya agad yung kanyang score. Then, okay. Then, mag-move on na siya sa next page. 
what I have learned, ito po yung generalization ng ating lesson. So, ang ginawa ko po ay fill in the blanks. Siya yung magbibigay ng summary ng ating um, lesson. So, nakalagay dito, wow, you are doing great. Complete the sentences below to summarize what you have learned in our lesson. So, real or fact images, blank. Then, blank images are the product of our imagination and they don't exist in real life. Kapag nasagutan niya yan, ay i-click niyo to. You key. are right! Let us say your answer again. Please repeat after me. Real or fact images could happen in real life. Yeah. Non-fact or make-believe images are the product of our imagination and they don't exist in real life. Yeah, and kapag okay Great na job! Dyan, kapag okay na siya dyan, meron tayong what I can do. Ito naman po yung application. So, let's have another activity. Click the box and pair the words and images. Have fun! So, i-click niya. Another activity. So, meron ako dito mga images na make-believe and real. Kaya nandito rin yung mga words na real and make-believe. So, click niya lang. Hanapin lang po niya yung pair. So, yellow, yellow. Ito ay real. Hanapin niya sa real. Real. Then, dragon is make-believe. Luneta Park is real. Congratulations! Kapag okay na siya dyan, X niya lang. Then, he may move on to the next page. Assessment. Dito na tayo sa evaluation. Okay, so, ito na yung recorded um, activity ng ating student. Sabi dito, view each image and identify if it is real or fact or make-believe or non-fact. So, ito yung pinaka-objective natin, yung alamin nila kung yung image ay fact or non-fact. So, na-achieve natin yun. Kalagay dito yung picture ni Jose Rizal. So, it is real. Darna, of course it is, make-believe. Then, UFO and alien, make-believe. And of course, we have here the Chocolate Hills. Dapat alam na nila yan. So, it's real. Then, Sleeping Beauty. Make believe. Then, submit answers. Ayan na. Lalabas din po kaagad yung kanilang score. Okay. Then, next. Additional activity. Ito naman po ay um, assignment. And, congratulations. You are, most, you are almost done. For more practice, get images from old, old or used newspapers, magazines, or books. Group them according to their classification and paste them on a clean sheet of paper. Use the format below. You may take a picture of your output and feel free to share in our group chat room. So, nagdagdag po ako ng activity na hindi involve yung screen nila para merong, meron silang uh, movement naman na hindi hindi sila nag-scroll sa screen. Ito po yung format na gagamitin nila. Real or fact images, ididikit po nila dyan yung mga nagkupit nila. Make believe or non-fact images, dyan naman po nila ididikit. At kapag nagawa nila, they can take a picture of it and uh, send it to the um, group chat or to teacher. Then, ito naman yung ating um, panghuling pananalita or closing remark. Congratulations! You did a fantastic job! I hope that you learned a lot from this lesson. See you in our next module. Bye for now! Yan! Then, ang pang last ay answer key. Ito na yung mga sagot sa mga activities natin. As it was instructed, dapat po nakabaliktad siya. Then, references. This, kung saan kinuha yung story, images. Yan. So, careful lang po tayo sa pag-grab ng mga images. Make sure na i-recognize natin kung saan natin sila kinuha. Okay. So, yan po yung aking sample ebook. Maraming salamat po. At um, please subscribe. Thank you.